What even is this video? I have no freaking clue. If it's anything like me, honey, it's gonna be a hot mess. So buckle up for the ride. What's up, beauties? Happy fall, y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all staying warm? I know we are in Texas. It's crazy here. It's like bipolar weather. It's insane. I already did my foundation and my brows, so it'd be quicker. So I think I'm just gonna wing it today. You know, why not? Let's just talk. Today I'm gonna be using the Baked Browns palette from Dose of Colors, and I think I might dabble into the James Charles palette a little bit. I'm not sure yet. But for the brushes, I'm gonna be using this package that I got from BoxyCharm. It came with five eye brushes. I think I wanna go into this lighter shade right here for the transition. So something has been on my mind recently. It's been really hard to get it out, and I feel like I just, I need to talk to you guys about it. I've been kind of, I guess, blossoming as a person, I guess you would say. And I mean, that happens when you get older. You definitely aren't the same person as you used to be. You know, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, you're supposed to evolve. And I just, I noticed that I was kind of just feeling a little negative about some things and some people. And I realized I was like, if somebody or something makes me feel a certain way, if they make me feel some kind of negativity, I just need to get them out. Like I, I don't need to be following them on social media. And you know, I just, I don't want any of those negative feelings cause it just, it doesn't feel good. You know, once you evolve, like you're supposed to change for the better. I started purging on my social media on my Facebook and Instagram. If you don't know, my husband and I, we both have a Facebook together. It's a joint Facebook. I know, don't judge me and don't make fun of me. It's just what we do. It's it's what we like, it works for us, okay? So anyway, <laughs> I just got rid of the people that just made me feel some type of way, you know? Cause I, don't, I just don't need those negative feelings. Now I do understand that people are on different paths. You know, everybody's not the same. We're all different, but I do feel like it should be like a common thing for people to do because us as humans, we tend to compare ourselves and our lives. And I feel like that could possibly be some of the cause of the depression today. And like, you know, how people get anxiety and stuff. And I'm not knocking anxiety or depression at all because I know exactly how it feels to go through that. And I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's, it can get dark sometimes. But I do feel like that it that like contributes to the depression anxiety because we are pressured to think that our lives are supposed to look a certain way and be a certain way. I know this is cliche to say, but like whenever people say not everything you see on social media is real, it's really not. Like it's honestly not. And I'm definitely guilty of making you guys think like everything's perfect or you know what I mean? Nothing is perfect. Nobody is perfect whatsoever. Like, ever. Nobody will ever be. But I feel like we're so pressured because we see like these girls and these guys on Instagram posting about their life and it looks so luxurious and you're like, man, I want that. Why don't I have that? And it just kind of like sets in as like a, a negative, like just a negative way of thinking about your life. And that's kind of like where it starts for some people. And honestly, since I've done that, I've felt so much better. I'm not comparing myself like I used to because I mean, us as humans, we just, we do that, you know, it's just, it's normal. And it's not always like necessarily if somebody is like making you think negative or giving you negative vibes. It can be just as simple as you guys are on different paths and you don't have anything in common anymore. So, you know, there's no reason to keep that door open because sometimes you keep in contact with certain people because you guys are on different paths, they can kind of like mentally hold you back. Like I know I know that sounds really bad. I don't, I don't mean it in any way like that. I just mean like, like say you're friends with somebody for so long and you guys have been through so much together and stuff, but you guys kind of like drifted apart a little bit. It's okay to step back a little bit from that friendship or whatever relationship it was. It's okay to step back a little bit because you guys are on different paths. You know, you kind of drifted apart. Don't 
don't feel bad for not keeping up with them 24-7. You, you get what I'm saying? Because it just happens in life. Like, people are different, like I said, and you're on different paths, you evolve, and you're just not the same people anymore. Like, be there whenever they need you, but at the same time, like, don't overextend yourself for that person. One thing that I really also wanted to talk about today was if you're friends with somebody and you've been friends with them for a long time and you guys, um, you kind of like drift apart in interests and stuff like that, but you still keep in touch with each other. If that person is just really going down a different path that you don't agree with, you don't have to accompany them. You can say no. It's okay to say no. And, you know, they might get their feelings hurt at first, but you'll thank yourself later because, I mean, if they're making all these bad decisions, like 85% of the time, you're going to go down with them. Like if something pops off, if something goes down, you're going to go down with them. And do you think they're going to, like, care about you? No. It's like human instinct for them to think like survival of the fittest you know what I mean like everybody thinks for themselves and they're not gonna be worrying about you so you have to worry about you so if um, somebody is doing something that you don't think is right and they try to you know involve you in it or if you're already involved in that situation just step back and say hey this isn't right you know if something in your head is telling you hey this isn't cool it's not right then don't do it. You know, it's it's okay to say no. You know, they might like guilt trip you and say, oh, you're just being lame. You're not cool anymore. No, do not fall for that. Because in the, at the end of the day, you have to look out for you. That's the only person that's gonna look out for you is you. Friends come and go. And I've had to learn that the hard way, honestly. I've been in some really shitty situations that I was just like, wow, you know, I, sh I should have said no, but I didn't because I thought it's better to have friends. No, it's really not. It is way better to be alone than to be in bad company. And another thing with friends is that this is like a whole different thing. Say um, you guys have been friends for years and you know, you're going on different paths, like I said, it's okay to drift apart a little bit because at some point you have to realize, you know, people have their own things going on. I understand, you know, people, like, everybody goes through shit. Like, honestly, everybody. People go through things differently. But, okay, I'm gonna go in with this next shade right here to kind of deepen it up a little bit. It's okay to not be there 24-7, you know what I mean? Because people need to understand that you have stuff going on too, you know, and you also need to understand that they have stuff going on. And if they try to make you feel bad for that, don't fall for it, okay? Because... That's another thing that gets me is like, you know, I understand people go through stuff and they have stuff going on, but like, don't get mad at me if I'm not up your butt 24 seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm just not that kind of friend to like be up your butt 24 seven. And some people need that. And I'm not judging at all, but I'm just, I'm not that kind of friend, you know? Like I'm the kind of friend that will, you know, I'll, I'll be there no matter what. And I'll call up and check on you and, you know, I'll text you, see how you're doing and stuff. But, you know, I understand life gets busy because, I mean, we all have stuff going on. But basically what I'm saying is don't make them make you feel bad. People get mad and say, oh, you're being a fake friend. Like, no, I'm not. I've always been here for you and I always will be. It's just that, you know, we get so busy in our everyday lives. It's just, it's okay to step back. You know, that's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying be a bad friend. Like, don't take my words out of context, please. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying to be a bad friend. I'm just saying it's okay to step back a little bit, you know? I know a lot of people get upset with me because I speak my mind. But, you know, I, I feel like if somebody has something to say, they need to be heard, you know? Because it's not cool to be that person at the party just like... To keep getting interrupted or you know if you have something to say you should say it and I'm that kind of person too to just like if if I see that happening I look them right in the face and I'm saying you know I'm I'm listening because I know what it feels like to be that person to just keep getting cut off and it feels like nobody cares and that that shit really eats at you so I'm gonna take rusted right here this is the brighter orange right here. So it's the one right next to it. Outer 
um, corner of my eye. Okay, I'm just kind of blending that right here. If your friend is making you uncomfortable and honestly this isn't just for friendships it's about any relationship at all whether it be boyfriend girlfriend whatever relationship you have sometimes even if it's with family you know it sucks to say but it's just the harsh truth but if that person is doing something that's hurting you if they do like certain things that you don't feel comfortable with or that you don't like you definitely have to voice it and let them know like hey there's a way to like tell them hey this is kind of shady like I don't like it how you do this because it makes me feel uncomfortable and at first they might get upset you know it might cause um, somebody to raise their voice or you know but please don't get scared to speak your truth you know you have to be honest with people I found that is the best way to keep a friendship or any relationship healthy you have to be honest with people and say hey please stop doing this you know it, it, it's hurting me it's hurting my feelings it's making me uncomfortable it's not right you know just tell them how you feel if they really care about you they'll stop doing it but if they continue to do it that's how you know it's time to cut them off and move on I know it's harsh but it's it's the truth I've had to do that so many times and it's it becomes necessary because you have to protect your peace I remember I was really good friends with this girl and she was my best friend for a while she would play these childish games with me and my husband basically like she would say hey can you come out tonight I'd be like no I'm sorry you know I I have a lot of things to do but I can probably come out next weekend or, you know, we can hang out, go to dinner or something, you know. Well, then she would play like stupid little games and text my husband, call him and be like, hey, can you come out? Can you hang out? Kiana said, no, I don't know what's going on. She would try to pin us against each other and she would start fights. And that just wasn't cool to me. Like, it, it's not cool at all. That just didn't sit well with me. So... I had a horrible feeling, like gut feeling. So I told her, I was like, hey, can you please not text us both and try to pin us against each other? And at first she tried to play dumb. She was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, come on, you're getting too old to play these games. Like, come on now. And she goes, okay, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know you felt that way. And I was like, well, thank you. You know, I, I really appreciate that. Well, you know, we moved on from that. A couple months later, she started doing it again. So I, I told her, I was like, you know, we've had this conversation before. Do not do this, please, because it doesn't sit well with me. And she was like, okay, I won't. Guess what happened? Did it again. So I was like, you know what? Bye. I'm not doing it. You know, because I've given you so many chances and I told you exactly what hurts my feelings. And if you're hurting my relationship, that's like a whole nother ball field. Like you don't mess mine and my man's, okay? <laughs> Basically. Like it's just, you don't do that, you know? And then, you know, of course when I told her, don't call me, don't text me, you know, it's over. I'm not doing this anymore because you're just, you're too childish for me. She goes, please, please. And you know, I won't do it anymore. I was like, no, you've had your chances. And what irks me is, you know, she saw exactly what I went through with other friends. She saw like how they hurt me and stuff. And she turned around and did the exact same things. It's like, no, I'm not playing your little games anymore. Like, I'm not stupid. You know, just because I'm a nice friend, I can be a bitch too. Like if you step on me, best believe. That's basically what I had to do. And you know, of course she was playing victim and you know, that's what they do, they play victim. She was just texting me, what did I do? What did I do? I'm like, come on, you know, don't play stupid. But ever since then, I haven't heard from her, I haven't talked to her, you know. I wish her well, you know what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no bad feelings because at one point we were best friends, you know? But there's gotta be a point to where it's like, okay, enough. Relationships like that, I get so aggravated because I can't stand fake people. I mean, I guess it's just, my sign I'm a Virgo and I'm super hard-headed like I'm very hard-headed I hate when people or things don't do what they're supposed to do you know we're old enough to know the rules you're supposed to know how to act 
don't act that way, you know? It's just not right. Jumping into a more positive note, as you get older, you kind of want to reevaluate your circle. You want people that influence you in a positive way. Like, you want to hang around people that are positive, they make you feel good. I understand people go through stuff, so it's not gonna be all smiles all the time. Once you finally find that group of friends, it's completely different. Like, your life totally just flips. It's like, for me, it was like a switch. Cause I was having really hard time with my life in that period of time that I was friends with this person that was bad for me. And I was like, why am I having, why am I going through such hell right now? And then it finally clicked, it's like, because I needed to get rid of them in order to grow. Like you're supposed to evolve, you're supposed to grow, that's just the way life is. Sometimes it happens like that, you know? Like you have, you're going through so much, but that's God telling you like, hey, um, you're shedding your skin, you're growing. And you've outgrown these people and they're not right for you anymore. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with that really bright orange. The color name is 518 and I'm gonna put it right here. And you wanna keep people around that, not necessarily that you want to become, but whose lives you see yourself living later on. Like your vision is their vision. Keep those people around because those are good people for you and they will help you evolve. Not only will you evolve with them, but they will help you along the way. Those are really good people that you want to keep in your circle. I feel like as people, we definitely need to be a little nicer to each other. And I know everybody's saying this, but it's true. Like it needs to happen because it's people's lives that you're messing with. When you say, go kill yourself or, you know, all these horrible things. These are actually people with feelings. These are people's lives that you're messing with. And some people don't get that. Like they don't understand that. They think it's just some robot behind a camera. Like, no, these are actually people. It goes back to the golden rule, you know, treat people the way you would love to be treated. And I feel like as a unit, we have lost sight of that. It's just, it's so sad. And it's like, how, how do you expect your life to get any better if you're just being ugly to people. I understand if you want to help people and you know give them constructive criticism, but there's constructive criticism and there's just being an asshole. Don't be an asshole, okay? Because at the end of the day, it just makes you look really bad. It reflects poorly on your character. And I do understand that, you know, like I said throughout the video, people are on different paths and also people think differently than you. You know what I mean? So a lot of people also take constructive criticism the wrong way. Not everybody is gonna be the same because we're all different. Also, if you guys feel like starting a social media page, showcasing your talents, go ahead and do it. I mean, why not? You know, everybody else has their own talents and everybody brings something different to the table is what I'm trying to say. Everybody's talent is different. Nobody can put your personal touch on something like you can. You shouldn't be scared to just go ahead and start because I'm gonna tell you this right now, I wish I had started my YouTube channel so much earlier, but what kept me from it was I was just so scared because I can see how people can be so mean. And I was so scared to put myself out there because I was like, they're gonna chew me up and spit me out. But then at the same time, I realized I was like, you know what? Nobody can do what I do the way I can. You know what I mean? Like you've got to stop comparing yourself to other people because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna stop you from succeeding. I mean, that's gonna be one of the many things that's gonna be like stopping you in your path. Like you have to jump over that. Like you can't let that stop you. If you want to start a website, if you wanna start an Instagram, say on building things or, you know, makeup, or it can just be graphic designing, anything, go ahead and start it because you will not regret it. One thing that I really want you guys to hear is that if you're going through a hard time, please, please do not be afraid to talk about it because that shit is dangerous. Like, I don't think people understand how dangerous it can be. You can talk to me. Like, if your mom, your dad, um, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friends, if they don't wanna talk about it, and if you don't feel comfortable talking to them about it, you can talk to me. Like, I'm here because nobody deserves to be shut out or feel like nobody cares. Like nobody deserves that. And I am a super easy person to talk to. I'm so understanding. Like 
I understand like people go through all kinds of shit. Like I get it, I, I understand. Because I've been through some shit myself. I'm gonna go in with the Sephora eye pencil and it's in the shade Classic Taupe. I wanted to do like a, a little bit of a bronzy color on the bottom to kind of bring out those colors. I'm gonna put mascara on the bottom and then I'm gonna do my contour, blush, and highlight and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that we've got our lashes on, I'm gonna take just a brown lip pencil and then I'm gonna go in with this MAC lipstick in CB96, like an orange frosty shade. All right, now I'm gonna take this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peach Crisp. Looks like this, it's just orangey. Brighter orange, kind of bring that color back. All right guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, give me a like, please comment down below and let me know like what else you guys would love to see from me. And don't forget to subscribe, all right? Bye guys.